Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to go over some of the best options for hiding Android's on-screen navigation keys. Alright so I'm going to break this video up into four segments to highlight the various options for hiding Android soft keys. Each of these options has its own dedicated installation guide on Gadget Hacks. So if you need any help with that just check out my full article. The first option I have for you is an app called GMD Immersive Mode. This one does not require root, but like all of these, you'll need to be running Android 4.4 or higher. The way this works is simple. Once you have the app installed and set up, you'll get a notification widget with three toggles. The first is for the regular mode with both the top and bottom bars visible, but the second option hides only the software navigation keys. The third option will hide both the software navigation keys and the status bar at the top of the screen. And this is actually triggering Android's immersive mode feature, so all you have to do to bring the buttons back is swipe in from the edge of your screen. This next app is similar to GMD, but it's a bit more robust. It's an app called Power Toggles and it's available on the Google Play Store for free. This is more geared towards providing quick access to several different system functions, but you can add an immersive mode toggle pretty easily. Then you have the choice of putting this widget in your notification tray or on your home screen, so it's easy to access either way. But unlike GMD, this only has one mode. It hides both the system bars at the same time. Even still, you can swipe in from the edge of your screen when you need to access these bars, so Power Toggles is definitely a great option. For this next set of options, you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed on your device, but the benefit here is that you'll get deeper integration. The first module I wanted to touch on real quick is Muhammad AG's Immerse Me. This one's really simple. Just install it, then activate and reboot, and immersive mode will be enabled at all times system wide. But let's say you'd rather have a little more control over immersive mode. A module called Force Immersive Mode on all apps is perfect for that. With this one installed, you can pick and choose the individual apps that will have immersive mode applied to them, and the module will make sure that everything transitions seamlessly. Finally, I have another option that doesn't involve immersive mode at all. It simply disables your soft keys altogether. Basically, all you have to do here is head to the system folder on your rooted device, then open the build.prop file in a text editor. From here, just add a single line of code to the bottom of your build.prop file, which you can copy and paste from my article, and your soft keys will be disabled when you reboot. But before you do that, it would be a good idea to install a second mod to handle the navigation buttons in a different manner. For that one, I suggest an app called Pi Control, which is free on the Play Store. With this one, you'll have to enable its accessibility plugin so that you can use the back button. But once you've got it all set up, go ahead and reboot your phone. When you get back up, you can just swipe in from the edge of your screen to bring up quick and easy navigation buttons that don't waste any precious screen real estate. So there's definitely plenty of options when it comes to hiding Android soft keys. It's just a matter of picking the one that works best for you. For the full breakdown though, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.